There are two ways to get an ancient Indian sculpture like this one. Pay $245,000 like the Toledo Museum of Art did, or steal it from a temple in India, which is what the dealer who sold it is accused of. Now museum officials are facing the aftermath of purchasing an allegedly stolen item. Certainly it's not a good feeling to uh, receive information that an object in your possession uh, might not legally belong to you. The museum's acquisition is the subject of a federal investigation. Art dealer Subhash Kapoor is facing trial in India after allegedly looting millions of dollars in art. Two items at the museum come from Kapoor, so worries arose after his arrest. Then museum officials saw the police report. Showing an object that had been um, taken from a temple there that looks remarkably like our Ganesha. The museum says they're the victims in all of this since they could be losing a sculpture they paid $245,000 for. As long as the museum proves they didn't knowingly buy stolen art, they won't face any charges. But Toledo attorney David Pettigene says knowingly is a broad term. If it's clear that the deal is too good to be true, then you probably have a duty to investigate even further. The museum won't give up the sculpture unless it's proven that it was stolen. That's something the Toledo Museum of Art has had to do twice in the past three years, both after purchasing looted items. Museum officials say they do standard background checks on all of their art. Tim McNicholas, WNWO News.